Our lesson for today is all about applying triangle congruence to construct angle bisector. During the Sarangola festival, Edward was able to look closer at the kite. Is he able to see angles being formed at each of its corners? In the figure, we can observe that segment BD has divided angle B and angle D into equal parts. It is called angle bisector. In this lesson, we will learn the concept of angle bisector and its application in triangle congruence. Let us try to reactivate what you previously learned by answering the activity on the next slide. In the given congruent triangles, let's identify the congruent angles by using special markings. For this activity, I will give you one minute to answer. Time's up. So now, let's answer number one. For number one, we have triangle LEO is congruent to triangle VEO. Our first pair of congruent angle is angle L is congruent to angle V. Our second pair of congruent angle is angle LOE is congruent to angle VOE. And for our third pair of congruent angle, we have angle OEL is congruent to angle OEV. For number two, we have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Our first pair of congruent angle is angle B is congruent to angle D. For our second pair of congruent angle, we have angle BAC is congruent to angle DAC. And for our last pair of congruent angle, we have angle BCA, which is a right angle, is congruent to angle DCA, which is also a right angle. Next, let's supply the missing information to complete the proof below. The given here is line segment LO is congruent to line segment VO and angle LOE is congruent to angle VOE. Let's prove line segment OE bisect angle LEV. For our first statement, we have line segment LO is congruent to line segment VO. What will be the reason for our first statement? The answer is given. Next, for number 2, what will be our statement if the reason again is given? The answer is, angle LOV is congruent to angle VOE. And for our third statement, we have line segment OE 
is congruent to line segment OE. What will be the reason? The reason is by reflexive property. Next, for our fourth statement, we have triangle LOE is congruent to triangle VOE. What will be the reason for our fourth statement? That's right. The answer is by SAS postulate because the included angle here is the angle O. And for our fifth statement, we have angle LEO is congruent to angle VEO. What will be the reason? That's right. The answer is by CPCTC. And obviously, for our last statement, line segment OE bisect angle LEV. And the reason is, if a ray divides an angle into two congruent angles, then it bisect the angle. Now, the activity proves that line segment OE bisect angle LEV. It also shows that angle LEO is congruent to angle VEO. Now, let's recall that an, ang that ang uh, that an angle bisector is a segment, ray, or line that divides angle into two congruent angles. Now, let us apply this to find measures of angles of a triangle. Let's consider the following examples. For number one, in triangle DAB, segment AC is the angle bisector. Therefore, angle DAC is congruent to angle BAC. If the degree measure of angle DAC is 50 degrees, then the degree measure of angle BAC is also 50 degrees. Next, for our second example, in triangle LMO, Segment LN is the angle bisector. Therefore, angle MLMLN is congruent to angle OLN. If the degree measure of angle MLN is 30 degrees, then the degree measure of angle OLN is also 30 degrees. Next, for our third example, in triangle QSP, based on markings, angle QPR is congruent to angle SPR. What is the value of X in the figure? That's right. The answer is also 40 degrees. Next, for our fourth example, in triangle SIR, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. If the degree measure of angle 1 is equal to 2x and the degree measure of angle 2 is equal to 50 degrees, what is the value of x? For this example, we will have our solution. And since angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, and the value or the degree measure of angle 1 is 2x, and the degree measure of angle 2 is 50 degrees, let's substitute the value. So we have and change the congruent sign to equal sign. So therefore, we have 2x, which is the measure of angle 1 is equal 
to 50 which is the degree measure of angle 2. And after that, let's apply the division property of equality. So we're going to divide it by 2. So 2x divided by 2 is 1x or x and 50 divided by 2 is 25. So therefore, x is equal to 25. Now, for our fifth example, in triangle MAT, again, in triangle MAT, angle MAH is congruent to angle TAH. If the degree measure of angle MAH is equal to 2x plus 5 degrees, and the degree measure of angle TAH is equal to x plus 25 degrees, What is the value of x? The degree measure of angle MAH, the degree measure of angle TAH, and the degree measure of angle TAM. So for our first solution, let's find first the value of x. Since angle MAH is congruent to angle TAH, let's substitute the value. So we have now 2x plus 5, which is the degree measure of angle MAH, is equal to x plus 25, which is the degree measure of angle TAH. And after this, let's combine similar terms. From positive 5, transpose this to the right side, it will become negative 5. And the positive x, trans transpose it to the left side, it will become negative x. So therefore, it will become 2x minus x is equal to 25 minus 5. 20, uh, 2x minus x is equal to 1x or x. Then, 25 minus 5, we have 20. So therefore, the value of our x is 20. Now, let's substitute the value of x to find the degree measure of angle MAH. Since the degree measure of angle MAH is equal to 2x plus 5, we substitute the value of x to 20. So therefore, it will become now 2 times 20 plus 5. 2 times 20 is 40, then plus 5, and 40 plus 5 is 45. So therefore, the degree measure of angle MAH is equal to 45 degrees. Next, let's find now the degree measure of angle TAH. And the degree measure of angle TAH is equal to x plus 25. And after this, let's substitute again the value of x which is 20. So therefore, we have 20 plus 25. And 20 plus 25, we have 45 degrees also. So therefore, the degree measure of angle TAH is equal to 45 degrees. Now, we can find now the degree measure of angle TAM. Since the degree measure of angle MAH is equal to 45 degrees, and the degree measure of angle TAH is equal to 45 degrees, we can add that two angles so that we can find the degree measure of angle TAM. So, 45 plus 45 degrees, we have now 90 degrees. So, therefore, the degree measure of angle TAM is equal to 90 degrees. That is our lesson for today. I hope you understand 
which are our lesson for today, which is applying triangle congruence to construct angle bisector. Thank you for watching.